Hi guys, I'm back. Um, I know it's been a while since I made my last video, but I'm going to try and put out one of these a week, and I'm going to need ideas, so if you feel free to uh, message me with anything you want to see. Um, that's not... that's appropriate, guys. Okay, yeah. So this video is going to be my how to not list of celebrities. Um, I'm going to say about 15 celebrities that I think are hot. I'm going to say some other ones and you'll just have to wait to find out what I say. And there's going to be a whole bunch of people that I don't think are hot. Well, not a whole bunch, but you're going to hear my opinions. Okay, so my celebrities that I'm going to say that are hot aren't in any particular order, but I am going to give them a number. The number doesn't really signify much other than their place in this video. Number one. Okay, so the first person on this list is Alyssa Milano. She was in Charmed, and right now, she's pretty fucking hot, but you know, that's just my opinion. Um, there isn't really much else to say about her. She hasn't really been in any movies recently other than that Lifetime movie, but like, whatever. Deuces. Second person on the list, Anne Hathaway. She's pretty, but she's one of my, if there were to be a scale, she'd probably be on the lower side. But she has the beauty of, um, she doesn't have to smile like big or whatever to be pretty. She can just do like the whatever smile and have it work out. Three! Next person you may not know, her name is Brittany Ray Leach. She is, or was, on Tila Tequila 2. Um, she was near the end. Um, I think she was the last girl before the girl that Tila Tequila picked. She was pretty hot. Yeah. I don't really know what else to say about her. She's not really that popular, but yeah. Number four! Another lady that is very gorgeous is Hilary Swank. I loved her role in Boys Don't Cry. That was amazing. And that movie is like the saddest movie ever. But yeah, she has like this beauty that's like not your average beauty, I guess. But she is really gorgeous. Five. Next person on the list, Catherine Moenig. Moenig? I don't know how to say her name. But um, she plays Shane in The L Word. Um, she has like this butchy type character, which is really hot because, I don't know, I have a thing for people that are like, have a guyish figure but are girls, I don't know. It's weird. It's a, it's a personal opinion, but you know, whatever. But she is, she is pretty hot. Next. Six. Next person. I don't care what you say. I liked her before she was in the fucking Twilight movie when she was in Speak, a Lifetime movie or whatever. Um, Kristen Stewart. She has, she also has a beauty like Anne Hathaway where she doesn't, you can just look at Kristen Stewart and be like, she is gorgeous, okay? It's not that hard to figure out that Kristen Stewart is pretty hot, but just because she's in Twilight, that's not the reason I like her. I didn't see Twilight, I could care less about Twilight. Um, she just is aesthetically pleasing to my eye. Numero siete. Um, the next lady on this list, her name is Jenna Malone. Um, she was in Stepmom, and I don't really know what other movies she was in, but she, I don't know, she's kind of like Kristen Stewart, where she doesn't have to smile to be pretty. Like, you could just look at her and be like, oh my god, you're gorgeous. Eight. Next person, you may know, she was on that 70s show. Um, she played Jackie. Her name is like, Myla or Mila Kunis, I don't know how to say her name, but she's hot. She's not like breathtakingly hot, but, you know, um, I don't just, I just don't have anything to say about her. She's, she's pretty. There. She's pretty. There's nothing fun to do with this one. Nine. Next person on this list, another MTV star, or whatever. Um, she won the Duel 2 or whatever this last season. Her name is Rachel Robinson. She is another type of those girls that's like butchy but femme, you know, and that's pretty hot. Okay. So the next person on this list is Rosario Dawson. Um, the only way I like Rosario Dawson is in the movie Rent. If she doesn't look like that, I don't know why, but I don't find her appealing. <laughs> I just like her wavy hair, and she's just like, I don't know what, what it is about it. Eleven. Next person is Sandra Bullock. Um, I like how she plays roles on TV. Um, 
I don't really want to talk about these people in the way that they perform in their movies because that's obviously acting, but I understand that these people don't look the same without makeup on, but I mean, I could just see her, like, looking amazing any time in her life. <laughs> Next girl, Sarah Shahi or something, I don't know what her name is, she plays Carmen in The L Word. She's just got, like, a killer body. She's just, like, not perfect, like, curvy. Like, not curvy, but, like, she's got the perfect curves. And it's just, like, her hair and the way she smiles. Just everything. Perfect. Thirteen! Next person is Winona Ryder. The only way I like Winona, Winona Ryder is when she played in Girl Interrupted with the short hair that's, again, butch-like. But, um, she just had this, like... Again, butchy femme kind of look to her. She was like, she had the butch haircut, but then again, she was like really girly in her face. And like, even though she wore like big clothes that like hid her, but like, if you took off her clothes, she'd have like this amazing body. Yeah. 14. Okay. Um, next person, Courtney Cox. Um, as we know, she was in Friends. I think the only way I like Courtney Cox, though, is in the 2000s, because we all know back in the 90s, people had, like, the worst fashion ever. I don't know what the fuck happened in the 90s, but, yeah. And lastly, 15. Last person, hands down, Julia Roberts. She's stunning. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, she's an amazing actress, but that doesn't make her gorgeous, but she is, like, a brilliant actress. A question that I get asked during, like, Truth or Dare is who I'd go straight for, and I will tell you. The person I'd go straight for plays in the band All Time Low. His name is Jack Barracat, I think, maybe? I don't know. He's just, he's hot if I dated guys. An honorable mention to that question would be Zach Merrick. He also plays in All Time Low. But at the moment, he's got, like, this blonde fro going on, and I really find that gross. So, uh, if he looked like the pitcher, um, yeah. He'd be my runner-up. Okay, people on my not-hot list. I'm not gonna lie. Don't think Alexis Bledel is hot. I don't think, uh, Megan Fox is hot either. Asha Green, the girl who plays Alice in Twilight, I don't think she's hot. Nor do I think the guy who plays Edward Cullen, Robert Patton, that's his name. Yeah, I don't think he's hot either. Nor do I think Zac Efron is hot, Ashley Tisdale, Vanessa Hudgens, Lindsay Lohan, Paris Hilton, uh, Britney Spears, any of the overrated superficial bitches of society in Hollywood. So, yeah. If you think of an overrated person, let me know. Probably would like to give you my opinion on them because there are some people out there that are just... They're only known for, like, one thing. And, yeah. I know I had a couple people on my list that are only known for one thing. But, I mean, they're not, like, amazing, like, stars that are walking the red carpet every time there's an award show. So, yeah. That's my list. Um, let me know what you think. Um, tell me who you think is hot or not. I'd like to know. I know some of my friends are gonna be like, what the fuck, you don't like Alexis Fidel? I'll be like, you know what? That's my opinion. And... Yeah. So that's all for this Tuesday evening after I just watched Big Brother and was kind of disappointed, but you know, shit happens. Okay, so that's enough for me this week. Bye.